One of my favorite things about being in the DevNet zone and kind of being at Cisco Live in general is the idea of how many firsts sort of happen here. You know, we have, I've said this on camera a bunch of times and I'm gonna keep saying it, where we're sitting right now in the DevNet zone is, uh, right off camera is basically the entire community. So our share your experience and lightning talks, it's all just right here, right where you can't see it, unfortunately. Um, but the cool part about a lot of what's happening is whether the people are sharing their experiences, participating in a lab, they're, some of these people are doing this for the first time. And actually, what a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of people who are here are doing these things for the very first time still. And it feels like we've been doing DevNet now for what, oh, that's right, 10 years. It's 10 years. We've been doing this for 10 years now. And we're still teaching a lot of people who have never put their hands on these technologies or worked with the developer tools. Um, so I thought it'd be kind of cool, Melissa, to have, have you come on board. You're our marketing lead for, uh, for developers and for DevNet. And, from your perspective as somebody who's been at Cisco for a few years now, but has worked in other things, not necessarily around this community, or at least not in this way, I'm really curious, what's it kind of like being, not just at Cisco Live again, but being around a community like this in the DevNet zone? Yeah, no, it's been an amazing experience. I have to say that the developer community within DevNet is unlike anything else. The people that come to the DevNet booth that I've noticed are excited to learn, they're seeking it out, they're wanting to understand and ask questions and meet the experts, and it's just been this amazing level of energy that I don't know I expected to even feel right off the bat. <laughs> I know, it's a little wild, isn't it? Because you, the number of people, it's funny, we've talked to people in the past who watch, people who work at Cisco, who watch the interactions kind of from the outside. They see it, they pass by, and their first thought is like, oh, you must have a lot of experienced people, and they're learning, they're taking these classes, and it's like, yes, and, a very much a yes and, the number of people who, I mean, you've, you've been at the kind of the, the front welcome desk a, a bit in the last couple of days, inter, in, like greeting people as they walk up, helping them find the right sessions that they're going to. Um, I've got to imagine that the number of people who walk up who, it's very clear that this is really their first time experiencing these things, it is still probably higher than you or others may have expected. I don't know, you tell me. Maybe it wasn't, but. No, I think it is. It's a lot more than they expect. I mean, they come in, they might have an idea that I'm gonna try out a workshop today and learn about API security, but there's a massive feeder going on talking about full stack observability and open telemetry that they walk over to, and it's, it's a big footprint. Um, so it's just surprising to see them come in and have one thing in mind and wanna check out all the other things that are here at the same time. Um, and I always, I've been telling them a lot, don't be afraid of a wait list because you can hang out, everyone's welcome. I, that is, I think, my favorite part of any of the events ever going on. Uh, this happened last year, but I've noticed it twice now. And I shouldn't point off camera because nobody knows if you're watching and you were here, you don't know what I'm pointing at. Right on the other side of this wall is one of our classrooms, uh, which means you're not doing hands-on stuff. You're kind of listening to someone on stage, talk about all the hotness in DevNet, whatever it happens to be. And I was watching one yesterday, or I walked by, and to your point, Yes, there's a wait list and there's people sitting down, but the wait list is basically like 80 more people standing around listening to a session. And it's a humble brag, it's kind of probably one of the few places in all of Cisco Live, whether it's EMEA or in US or even APJC for that matter, where you're gonna see that many people trying to get into a session that is already full and like forget it, we're just gonna do it anyway. Yeah, and we don't turn them away. No, of course not. <laughs> there's always a place to learn. Yeah. Um, so far, so we've been here for a day and a half. Yeah, it's about a day and a half, give or take when we're recording this. You probably aren't seeing this for a while, but it's a day and a half since we got here. Um, so far, what has been like either your favorite thing or one standout or like one cool interaction you had that like just kind of stood out amongst anything else you've experienced so far? I really <laughs> enjoyed the theater sessions, especially with some of our Spotlight sponsors because they brought a unique perspective that a lot of times developers don't always get to hear that angle of it. But I think my favorite thing that I've experienced so far is the share your experience. It's such a unique, design thinking lab for developers and visitors to come in and share their experience with the Cisco products from a developer perspective. And it's something that I think we all can learn from no matter who you are, what it's like to work with us. And I, I think that's amazing. Yeah, I, it's, I completely agree. I'm glad you called it out. It happens to be right here off camera. It's, we're, it's a very busy thing while we're doing videos, which is fun. Uh, but it's been persistent in the DevNet zone for years now. And it, I was talking to somebody in our planning for the event ahead of time, and I remember making a comment that, or someone had brought up, hey, is it really that, do people really spend time? I'm like, it is the usually the most consistently busy area in the DevNet zone throughout the entire week of the event. Because once you let people know that there's a way to give their voice, their input in a, in a structured way that is going to be 
taking it done something with afterwards, it's pretty cool to see how how quickly people are like, oh yeah, I have a lot to say about a lot of things. Yes. Yeah. Um, Even if it's not fantastic, we're always learning. <laughs> all feedback is good feedback. Yes. It's like all PR is good PR. What you do with it afterwards, that's up to us. So we, yeah. can, we figure out what to do. Um, I can remember a story, or I remember this time years ago. It was like, I think it was my second Cisco Live ever. Second Cisco Live US, second time I'd ever been to Cisco Live. Um, and where we were located in, you, at, uh, in that venue, you walk in and there was like the Cisco social area, but just off of that was where the DevNet zone was. And then right there was this big Spark, well, what Spark board at the time, WebEx board at the time, and, and like a beanbag chairs and all that. But then right behind that, across the aisle, is where the shared experience was. And I remember multiple times, my wife came with me, we were sitting there in bags, hanging out. Then I went up and it was the first time as a, I was an SE at the time, interacting. I went through the whole thing and I remember how, not only how cool it was for me as a person to go through, but finding my customers later to bring them back. Like, hey, I know you have things you like, but at the time they had certain things that were really frustrating them. And they felt, it was almost cathartic for them to like walk through and be able to explain to someone in a codified way, in a very prescriptive way. I don't know, you had mentioned earlier that this is kind of a really interesting zone. I know, what has been your take on not just what is happening, but the experiences people seem to be having as they're going through? It's not one way. Everything that we have within the DevNet community is a two-way conversation. Um, it is based on a mutual understanding that we all just want the best for each other, and it goes its way all the way through the technology itself. So us understanding what is troubling you, what do you love about it, that's how we make changes for you as a developer. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, I mean, everything we do in DevNet, DevNet as a group, I mean, it's a community organization. Regardless of how we interact, when we interact, the channels, doesn't matter. This sort of thing doesn't exist without the people you build it for. Um, and so, yeah, I totally agree. Having something like this where we can, in a very prescriptive way, but also in a very flexible way, give you a place to give your input, give your feedback, share, share your experiences is pretty rad. Okay, but there is some kind of big news, kind of, kind of just a little big news. DevNet might be celebrating, I don't know, it's 10 year anniversary, which is very surreal and also very rad. Yes, DevNet made it to double digits, the big 1-0. Um, I, it's honestly very exciting, especially to join this um, organization at this time. There's a lot of excitement for all of the things that DevNet's accomplished over the past 10 years, but then a lot to look forward to in the next couple of years. Um, what do we got? What, what's coming up? Because we oh, got like man. a bunch of stuff happening. Well, first of all, we can talk about all the celebrations. So we have the virtual event on March 14th. Um, Any we can come, we'll have some fun newsworthy items there as well. Um, Cisco Live US, we're looking, we're gearing up for a celebration mm -hmm. there as well. And then we just have some major things happening within the community itself. We're amping out the new start now for developer.cisco.com that I know you were very involved with. Um, we also have lots of new articles. We're revamping our learning labs and our sandboxes. It's just all of the learning that's going to continue with DevNet is just going to get bigger and better based on the feedback that we hear from yeah. all of you in the community. So it's great. It's super right. I'm, I'm glad you'd be able to kind of plug, sh totally shameless plug, no we, no <laughs> shame at all. We want to plug it because this is fun for us. Like it's an absolute blast spending time with all these humans, us getting to meet in person for the very first time. Like yes. it's funny how many times we come to someplace like Amsterdam or Cisco Live Europe with people that we work with in the US or wherever you work, this is how we meet. Like we leave the country to come actually meet in person. We talk every day, but this is the first <laughs> time we've met. Exactly. <laughs> And there's just, that's one of the things about a community program like this and broader communities at Cisco in general, not just DevNet. We're one part of the, the bigger community of Cisco. It's people working with people and helping each other. And so to be able to celebrate 10 years and in the ways that we're getting, we're able to do and that your team is building out and our teams are building out, is just really, really cool. So Melissa, thanks so much for stopping by. It's great to have you. Thanks for having me.